Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 557. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Upset link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 551 to 557. Hey, 557, this is a great video. Love this trick. We're going to use the choose function to look up a formula or a function. Now, we've seen the VLOOKUP and INDEX and MATCH to look up values or look up ordinal positions, but the choose function can not only look up C-H-O-O-S-E, not only can it look up a number, a word, a, a formula, a function, a range, you use choose when you have multiple tables in VLOOKUP, it could also uh, look up define names. The, the aspect of it that we're going to see here, and I've kind of hinted at it in some other videos, but I got a great two examples here, is you can use choose to look up formulas and functions. Let's start with an easy example. All I want to do is calculate either mean, median, or mode, and I want to choose to look up here, and depending on what I put here, make the, a different calculation. So in this example, we're going to look up three different functions. Uh, next example, we'll look up three, five completely different formulas. All right, the first thing is, well, I want these values that are sitting in this cell. I want to have a drop down, but I'm not going to use data validation. I'll use that over here. I want to use um, a combo box form control. Now, developer ribbon in 2007 and 10 has to be added, and you have to go to File, Options, and add it there to, to see the developer ribbon. Uh, so we want a combo box. I'm going to go to Developer, and then uh, Insert, and this combo box right here. Now I'm going to click and drag, and now I have a, a combo box. Now I could right click Format Control or Control 1, and where is the input range? Right here. Boop. And the great thing about a combo box is if you link a cell like that one right there, and I only have three items, so I'm going to put three here. If you link a cell, depending on which item we choose, it'll put the um, ordinal position, kind of like the match function. So mean will be one, median will be two, mode will be three. And that's exactly what we're going to need for the choose function. All right, so now we um, let's select, uh, click over here to deselect. Um, in edit mode and then click median. Now that'll be two. The great thing about this combo box is we need a one, two, three, four, or five, in our case one, two, three, for the choose, because choose will be looking up a number and then depending on whichever number it'll plop the right formula. So now I'm going to come down here, equals choose, index number. This is the lookup number. Again, one, two, three for us. So one, two, three, and then you simply it this um, screen tip refers to it as value one. So does the insert help uh, function dialog box. But value again can be a text item, a number item, a formula, a function, a r range, a table for VLOOKUP, or uh, define name. So us, we're just going to put value one. How about average? and highlight this whole range right here, comma, the value if 2, median, it's got to be in the same order as we have it over there, comma, and then the value 3 is going to be our third different type of function, M-O-D-E. Now this, I'm in 2000 and uh, 10, so that's multi, that's multiple modes. This is the one they want you to use now, SNG. I'm just going to use force the issue. There's that one right there, and there's that symbol. You're supposed to look at that in 2010 and go, hey, I'm not going to use that old one. That's compatibility mode. All right, so there it is, choose. And now, whatever we choose from here, it will choose. And uh, uh, this is just great because a lot of times maybe you have different machines or different uh, parameters whatnot with different calculations and so you want a drop down to decide what this uh, uh, calculation is. Mode NA just means there's not a, any, uh, there's no duplicate so there's no mode there. Now here let's look at an even better example and forget the fact that we're doing uh, using a statistical function called binome disk. Just 
if you're not into statistics, uh, just forget it. Just think of these as five formulas, because this is a great example. Um, five different formulas. And by the way, binome disk just is a binomial experiment and gives you the probability. Uh, and the problem with binome disk is <laughs> there's like five different, uh, even more than this. This is only five different types of calculations. Uh, we could also have between calculations, which I don't have listed here. But you have to like mix up binome disk with different arguments. And sometimes you have to do 1 minus. And sometimes you have to take the actual x value and subtract 1. So we have all these uh, scenarios for, for different formulas. And so that's exactly what choose is for. I don't want to have five different cells. I just want to be able to have a drop down here, select whatever my x and the comparative operator is, and have my formula just calculate the right probability. So again, just think of these as five different formulas. And these are the categories for these formulas. First, let's just do data validation, Alt-DL. Alt-DL, any value list and the source is going to be this. No problem. That's just it thinks of it just as a text item. Now, um, can V look up look up text? You betcha. So I put uh, the comparative operators, which is just like a text if you look up. And then in the second column, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, because choose is going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to get to the five different formulas. So equals V lookup. I'm looking up this value right here, comma, within this table. So it searches through the first column, right, and then gets the value. Comma, the column index is number 2. And then comma, the we have to put 0 for exact match, right, because we have these strange text items over here. right? And so that will always get me the right one. I'll select here. And that's what choose will use to, to get the right formula. Now, we're going to load all of these up into choose. So let's see a cool trick. Since I already have these formulas here, I don't want to retype them or cut and paste, cut and paste. So I'm going to um, copy. And I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut Control CC. You have to turn that keyboard shortcut on for the clipboard to work under Options. In earlier versions, 2003 and before, Control CC just works. right? Control CC. It, it, oops, I want to clear. Control CC. It just loads that thing up and opens the um, clipboard. And then I'm going to come here, Control C, Control C, Control C, Control C. Now, I've loaded these up, and this first one is associated with number one, OK? Equals choose. Index number is going to be always looking there, comma, the value one. I'm going to say one, two, three, four. No, I have to go down one. Oh, I almost made a mistake there. I'm going to click. And you can see how it showed up, comma. And then I'm going to click the next one. Comma. And then I'm going to click the, see, that's 1, 2, and then this one. Comma, and then this one. Comma, and then finally this one right here. Right? So you want to be super careful that you get your formulas all in the correct order in accordance with these. That may take some time. But once you get it set up, man, this is a big time saver. All right, Control Enter. So now, anything I choose from this, x equals, uh, and this is a binomial experiment, if you know what a binomial experiment here is. And here's a chart uh, visually portraying the accumulation and adding of these probabilities, which is what this formula is doing. x equals that. So I select x, x less. And that's the um, x value right there. x less than 5, uh, there's the result. And so it just is totally awesome. So our what we did in this video is we did a uh, drop down two different ways, data validation and combo box. We saw how to um, put in uh, the number 1 up to some higher number that choose uses for the lookup. And then we saw how to use the choose function to deliver, to look up the right formula using the binome dist and all that stuff here. And also uh, the simpler example with just average, median, and mode. Totally awesome, useful trick. All right, we'll see you next trick.